And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Lee. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. So we can check on the lineup today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. A look then at the starting 11. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. be a tangible end product well is he going to give them the advantage give it away well, can he make this move count just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender and cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. And now the delivery. And up for grabs off the keeper. And attempting the through ball. Well, visionary passing. And he's clear his lines. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, this might pay dividends. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. I must say, no shortage of space. Well, let's see. Can they get themselves in front here? He's taken on the shorts, but he's failed to beat the goalkeeper from there, Lee. Well, it was well worth the effort, but uh, well off target. The ball with Nacho. Well, let's see, does he mean business? That will give them quite the lift. An early opening goal lead. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish.
Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. He's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Well, a bit more analysis as regards the goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Now, what can he do here? Konstantinos Simikas. Is he going to punish them here? And passing with a velvet touch. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he's very, very unlucky. Has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And they'll get ready for the throw in. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. There's a slide draw pass. And the decision is one of offside here. the ball to the opposition that time Konstantinos Fortunis carrying a genuine threat here he has plenty of support Read it superbly to take back possession. They don't normally need a second invitation to... Oh, that's an interesting pass. A matter of keeping his composure. It's opened up for him. The goalkeeper miles out of position. What a miss, you've got to say. Well, that space the goalkeeper give him there is impressive. It's like Christmas. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Can they square the game? Rifled against the post, but back in play. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, we've just seen how close you can come to equalise it without it actually going in the net. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. This move counts. And there's the feed into the box. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Crossed into the penalty area. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. 
So a throw in here. Well, what on earth happened there? It's all about translating threats into goals. And the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And the use of technology here to verify the fact that it didn't cross the line. Well, I didn't think he was close first time round, Derek, and quite rightly see here, nowhere near, but we might as well have another look. Not a goal, though, as clear as day. Corner kick played over. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. He's driven in the corner. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Effective challenge. Well, he's given it away. An awful lot of green space to run into. Let's see, does he mean business? Let's see what he has in store for them. Throw ins given. Others in the vicinity. And whipped into the box, clattered away. Will there be a tangible end product? Carrying a genuine threat here. It's with Omar El Abdelawi and slipped through beautifully. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Vibras Nacho well, regaining possession for his side cleverly. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. The ball with Nacho. Is he going to punish them here? They've given it away. Say no shortage of space behind in the game, but now they have a corner. Corner kick played in. And they deal with the threat this time. Half time, and from the neutral point of view, a cracking first half in this UEFA Europa League final league. Well, from everybody's point of view, it's been an absolutely brilliant game. I've enjoyed every single second of it. We've had incident, we've had tactics, we've had all sorts, confrontation. Bring it on. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. The quest for Europa League success, and the second half of this final is underway. Now well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. can he do here targets available cross comes in lack of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball 
giving the ball to the opposition that time. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, can he make this move count? And a throw in it's going to be. Fortunis has it. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And there's the feed into the box. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Taking care of business defensively here. And give it away. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And straight at the goalkeeper then. Will there be a tangible end product? Fortunis has it. Carrying a genuine threat here. It is a fruitful forward run. And a no-nonsense clearance. Is he going to punish them here? An awful lot of green space to run into. Useful cross towards the near post. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Half a... An hour remaining then. Over the touchline for a throw in. And a substitution in the offing. He hears the footsteps and feels the pressure. Tremendous vision, he's really sliced them open. And a chance to level it. And putting his body on the line. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net, keeper couldn't do anything about it. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Vibras Nacho. Well, he's given it away. Foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Now, what can he do here? Lost possession. Guilherme, Vibras Nacho.
can he make this move count? Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Guilherme. Now let's see, does he mean business? Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Given the position he was in, he's not going to be especially pleased with himself. Well, he took the chance with power. Not always the best option. Guilherme. Will there be a tangible end product? And a goal kick is the outcome. a genuine threat here just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender bodies forward and the break looks on for a counter to succeed it has to happen at lightning pace it didn't is he going to punish them here oh a lovely ball and the keeper had to react in an instant oh and does he wow does he react what a save that is Nothing wrong with that idea. And this time, it's in! Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. as they kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs and this time it's Miranda Fortunis has it it's with Vukovic now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card Following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just mistimed his tackle. <laughs> Ten minutes left for play in this match. What can he do here? And it's played into the centre. No nonsense clearance. Jagosz Vukovic. Guilherme, it's all about translating threats into goals. Let's see what they can do here. And can he make this move count? And favouring power over subtlety, he's hit the woodwork lead. Well, eight yards to aim at, he's missed all eight of them.
see, does he mean business? And the cross not quite accurate enough. Let's see what he has in store for them. Will there be a tangible end product? I'll tell you what, Lee, a key moment in the game, that save. Well, right at the end as well. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. There's a slide draw pass. I think everyone knew that was foul play. And the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. And the referee decided that intervention was illegal and cautionable. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. El Abdelawi, Guilherme. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Corner kick played over. Carrying a genuine threat here. Is he going to punish them here? And whipped into the box. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. Quite rightly so, they're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. We're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions and they'll be looking forward at moments like this and they've finally got their hands on this fantastic magnificent trophy this is what they've wanted now it's in their possession the winners of the UEFA Europa League long celebrations into the night I'm pretty sure Derek is going to go on and on and I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible one more trophy left, why not? Yes. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all away.